What a night for Thomas Hensley. Nine touchdowns, game ceiling interception, uh, over 300 yards uh, from scrimmage. Man, quite a game. Uh, how'd that one feel? Oh, it felt great. Um, this game meant so much to me and my team, and just it being my last game here, uh, we just I just tried to cherish every moment with my team, all my seniors, and never beating them. I mean, it's a rivalry, and they've kind of put the beating on us the past, well, since they've joined. So to be the class, to be the senior class, to be the team that beat them, it's, it's the greatest feeling. So was that something that was addressed much through the week in preparation that, hey, you know, this is maybe our time to, to give, give them a loss? Yeah, well, that and as freshmen and as we've grown up, we just – Every year we we kind of struggle with them, and they always they always beat us, put the beating to us. So just to be that class that to to, to break that curse, to break that streak, it's it's the best man in the world, world. And we talked about it. That was one of the things we talked about during the week. Is we haven't beat them, and that would be a special thing to do it on our last game. So basically, in the second half, every time you got the ball, you were down, and pretty much every time you got the ball, you scored to put your team on top. I mean, what's that like? Uh, I got great blockers. Uh, Ethan Fast, Ethan Stevenson, Ben Tipkin, all three of them are sophomores, and they've stepped up tremendously. Like I can't even describe how well they've been playing. And obviously Caleb, who I've, who I've been playing with all my life, and I just have a great line. My backs, they block really good for me, and it's pretty easy. Probably going to sleep pretty well tonight? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, going forward, you've got a big challenge next week with Fremont Mills. Are you guys uh, feeling pretty optimistic? You can find a way to get in the playoffs? Yeah, uh, we, we've talked about all week. Just give yourself an opportunity to get into the playoffs. Give yourself an opportunity. Take it one game at a time and give yourself that opportunity. And that's what we, that's what we did tonight. We took care of business and we're ready. We're excited and we can't wait to play next Friday. As far as tonight goes, there were so many big plays. Whether it was, well, you had a late interception that kind of sealed it, um, there were some key special teams plays. There were some penalties. There were some conversions on uh, fourth and long, uh, third and long. Can you think of maybe a time or a series or, or one play in the game that you thought was a real decisive factor? Um, I never feel too comfortable, but after that interception, I it kind of went away. I kind of felt decently comfortable but yeah it's it's still it's still scary having the ball with that much time left on the clock and Wolm he helped me walk, uh, milk the clock down and he does a great job of that and yeah their defense made it tough on you to get free you did have the two long touchdowns in the second half but what were you seeing out there that kind of their defense made it difficult uh they kept their ends outside so like I that's where I'm strong is I get outside and I can get free and break one but they did a really good job of that so I had to go right through the middle where all the traffic is and everyone's bigger than me but I knew I had to adjust and adapt and I had to kind of be a little bit more physical than I usually am and that's what I did. Well uh, potentially I hate to think of it this way but potentially only one more game left in your high school career so just just how important is next week? Uh, it's really important and I just I just want our team to go out there with nothing to lose, nothing to worry about. Just go play your heart out and everything else to take care of itself. Hey, congrats on a big win here tonight. Thank you.